Taylor Walker won't play in Showdown 50 as the AFL continues to investigate claims that he made a racist comment at a Sandful clash. Now, Theo Dorobolis joins us. He's at West Lakes. Theo, now, Walker was a no-show of training this morning. Yeah, that's right. So the club said Walker was allowed to take the day off given the amount of scrutiny he's under as the AFL investigation finally wraps up. Now, he was, of course, a no-show. He has been dropped and Nathan Van Berlo described the ongoing situation as very difficult, revealed he'd spoken to Walker, who spent the day at home. So Walker is out along with Sam Berry and James Rowe. It means Riley Thilthorpe gets another crack after a month out and the Crows will also unleash a debutante. Pretty good signs. Pick 25 in last year's draft, Braden Cook. He was greeted with news of his debut on the Adelaide Oval scoreboard when he arrived at training. Why not? Then he was officially told he was in during a team huddle. He's got some lightning speed. He's got some, some good skill and he's been playing, playing his role for us. Um, we've worked away, worked away, and he's put his head down, bum up, and constantly knocking on my door, the other coaches' doors, learning the game plan and trying to fine-tune himself. So he gets an opportunity debut on a showdown is pretty exciting for a, for a young fellow like Braden. Yeah, we wish him all the best too. Now, gun midfielder Matt Crouch will play in the Sandfall showdown after managing a little bit of soreness in recent weeks. And if he gets through Saturday, the club is expecting him to put his hand up for the final two matches of the season. That will, of course, be a welcome boost for the Crows and Crouch, who's missed pretty much the whole year, Soda.